I know, now think of what Lehi said, Jacob, I know you're redeemed. Now, if you and I were to say, well, why was Jacob redeemed? You'd say, well, we, I think we'd be prone to say, well, because he was a great kid. He's following in the footsteps of his older brother, Nephi. He's, he's an obedient son. He's faithful. My goodness, he's the great philosopher of the Book of Mormon. He teaches powerful sermons. All of that would be true, wouldn't it? Is that why he's redeemed? Go back and read that. I know that thou art redeemed because of the righteousness of thy Redeemer. What in the world does that have to do with anything? I know you're going to make it, Jacob, because of the goodness of Jesus and the righteousness of Jesus. How does that work? I mean, would it be the case, I know I'm going to make it because you're righteous. You're that, not going that, to make it. That's right. We're not. So, <laughs> you're right. Is anybody else that can help me better than she can? I mean, think about this. This is really fascinating. I know you're going to make it. I know you're going to go to heaven. I know you're redeemed, Jacob, because of the righteousness of thy Redeemer. Doesn't that go with Alma chapter 34 as well about there must needs be an infinite and eternal sure. atonement? Sure, it is. I mean, not, not, just a, not just a temporary atonement, an infinite and eternal. It had to be... A forever atonement. Yes, it had to be one of a God. I know you're going to be redeemed because God does not lie. He is righteous and He doesn't lie. And He said that you're going to be redeemed. Do you see where I'm coming from when I said that the righteousness of Christ or of God becomes vital. You and I are able to become righteous ourselves because God is righteous. And He begins to endow us with a portion of His righteousness. Okay? 